Welcome to OFR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Brimnes wardrobe with two doors from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, something pointed to poke holes with, a 5 16th inch drill bit, a pencil, and an allen key that IKEA gives you. You can also use a drill with a Phillips or positive drive bit to speed up the assembly process. Before you start, I would also recommend keeping all the bits and pieces in their intended bags, as mixing them up will create more confusion. So the first step is to grab these two side panels and put them into this orientation. Just make sure that the big holes that I pointed to are in this position, and that this panel has the two pairs of holes located here. Next, grab 6 of these corresponding hinge pieces and 12 of these screws from bag 2. Then align the holes of the hinge pieces with the holes on the panel. Just make sure that they're marked with the letter B and that the arrow is facing outwards. Then secure each hinge piece with two screws. The whole process will look like this. Now do the same thing with the other panel, and again, make sure that the arrow is facing outwards. The end product will look like this. Then grab 10 of these screws from bag 1 and screw them into these 10 holes. The end product will look like this. Now grab this bottom panel and put it into this orientation. Just make sure that the unfinished edge is in this position. Also, grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then connect both pieces like this. Now grab two cam lock nuts and secure them into these two holes. Then grab two of these panels and put them into this orientation. Also grab nine dowels and hammer them into these nine holes.
Now grab two cam lock nuts and put them in like this. Next, grab two of these metal rods and insert them as shown. Also, tighten both cam lock nuts like this. Then connect both panels like this. Now grab two more cam lock nuts and secure them into these two holes. Next, flip the panels over like this and connect them as shown. Now grab this panel and put it into this orientation. Just make sure that the two big holes are in this position and the unfinished edge is located here. Also, grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then connect this panel like this. Now grab two of these screws and an allen key. Using the allen key, secure the two screws into these two holes. Next, grab this panel and put it into this orientation. Just make sure that the unfinished edge is located here. Also, grab two of these screws and screw them into these two holes. Then connect this panel like this. Now grab two cam lock nuts and secure them into these two holes. Next, grab these two pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. They connect both pieces like this.
Now grab two more dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Then connect this side panel as shown. Now grab eight cam lock nuts and secure them into these eight holes. Next, grab the top panel and put it into this orientation. Also grab two of these plastic pieces and hammer them into these two holes. Now grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Then grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect the top panel like this. Next, grab four cam lock nuts and secure them into these four holes. Now flip the structure 180 degrees so the unfinished edges are facing up. You'll probably need another person's help with this step. Then grab your pencil and draw two midpoint lines. Make sure that the line is drawn to the very edge. Now grab the backing and place it on like this. Then grab the bag of nails and the nail holder. The nail holder can be used if you're uncomfortable hammering your nails. Then make sure that the top left corner is flush and hammer a nail into this spot. Now go to the top right corner with one nail and hammer it into this spot. Just make sure that the corner is flush before you hammer in the nail. Next, go to the bottom left corner with one nail and make sure that the corner is flush. Then hammer the nail into this spot. Now grab your pencil and connect the midpoint line.
Next, grab four nails and hammer them equidistant from each other along the lower spine of the backing. Now with the rest of the nails, hammer them equidistant from each other all around the backing. Then grab four plastic scratch guards and hammer them into these four spots. Now grab the wall hardware bag and get two brackets, two washers, and two screws. Then grab something pointy to poke two holes with. You can use the bracket as a reference, but if your baseboards are thicker, then you can put the brackets higher. As you can see, I went flush with the backing. Then put the screw through the washer and secure each bracket. Just make sure you don't screw in the screw all the way. Now put the wardrobe against your intended wall. So these next steps are related to securing the wardrobe to the wall. I've done these steps in another video, so I'll leave a timestamp with the link in the description below if you want to see how it's done. Now grab these two plastic pieces and screws from bag 2 and secure each plastic piece with one screw. Then attach the rail like this. Then grab four shelf pins and insert them as shown. Now grab the shelf and place it on top of the shelf pins like this. Next, grab both doors and put them into this orientation. Also grab 6 hinges and 12 of these screws. Now insert the 6 hinges into these 6 spots and secure each hinge with 2 screws. Then grab this door and attach it as shown. Then secure the door by screwing in the screw. This applies to all hinges.
Now grab the other door and repeat the same steps. Next, grab two handles and four of these screws. Then secure each handle with two screws. Next, grab two rubber bumpers and stick them on as shown. Now your doors may be a bit off and everyone's situation will be different, but if your doors are a bit too high or low, unscrew these two screws and play with the height. This applies to all hinges. If your doors are a bit too far in or out, then unscrew this screw and adjust the depth. Again, this applies to all hinges. If your doors are leaning too far to one side or the other, unscrew this screw and play around with this screw. Again, this applies to all hinges. So now you have a fully assembled Brimna's wardrobe with two doors from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.